My name is Guillermo Barriga. Uh, I'm from Denver. My parents are originally from Ghana, so I am the first generation here in the United States. I'm from Durham, Connecticut. It's a small farming community. When I got my admissions letter, the envelope was really small. There's a running joke on campus because acceptance letters come out in very deceptively thin <laughs> envelopes. I called my mom right away. She wasn't home with me, but we were just so excited. I started screaming and I actually <laughs> twisted my ankle and fell on the floor. Awesome. This is, this is amazing. And then the reality kind of set in, you know, can I afford to go there? Then I received my financial aid package and I, it was, oh man, I, I, did, I actually didn't know what to do. It's been really exciting, it's been challenging, but it's opened a whole lot of doors for me. Oh, it's been amazing. So far, I'm having the best years of my life. I have made my best friends here, the people who will walk in my wedding. We come here to really strive to make the world a better place. Everybody here respects each other. Here you can be challenged with a lot of the big questions of life. The idea of becoming a different person, of giving back to society. It's going to change and define everything that I can be. I want to be a woman for others. I love this place. I'm proud to be a Hoya. I bleed blue. <laughs> I'm a Hoya. Hoya for life. Hoya for life. Our identity as one of the great universities in our world is inextricably tied to our ability to ensure that the very best students can be here. Because we meet full need at Georgetown, it allows us to attract the best students where the fit is right, and sometimes the financial situation in the families isn't. If I did not have a scholarship to come to Georgetown, I will not be here. My mom could hardly support us, me and my three brothers. So imagining trying to raise thousands to go to college, that's for me, it would have been impossible. It was everything. <laughs> Without the scholarship, I wouldn't be in this chair right now. I knew that I had to apply to other schools just in case it wasn't feasible for me to be able to uh, pay for the Georgetown tuition. If they really want to be a Hoya, and they're qualified to be a Hoya, and they're admitted to Georgetown, mustn't we make that possible for them to be with us? It's such a virtuous cycle. If you have the best students, the best faculty will come. When you have the best faculty, the best students want to be with them. That's what's at stake here. Georgetown is obviously very selective, but within that selectivity, there's diversity. And that, that is tremendous. It's a privilege to teach these students. People bring different experiences into the classroom. People bring different types of preparation, different worldviews. So it allows us as educators to take already brilliant, talented students to the next level. These students who get financial aid, it's not just that we're investing in them for four years. It's not just about one student, it's not just about the faculty, it's not just about Georgetown University. In order for countries to remain globally competitive, higher education is critical. As a Jesuit and Catholic university, we had better open our doors to all kinds of students and give advantages and possibilities to students. If not, we're really not fulfilling the Jesuit mission. I work in the After School Kids program. We work with kids who've been involved in the court system. As part of their probation, they get referred to our program where we teach them the skills that they'll need to be good citizens. Being here at Georgetown and being in the community, uh, the faith community, the student community, Working on campus, being involved in so many organizations has definitely confirmed my reasons why I belong here. Well, I'm a writer, first and foremost, so I do news and features for the paper. And then also I have uh, a, an interview series where I sit down with uh, individuals on campus. So this is kind of like tables turned, right? Definitely. You're being interviewed. <laughs> we believe that for us to be able to sustain our commitment to excellence, we need to ensure the very best students can be here. If you don't have the right people, the right constellation of people in the classrooms, it all falls apart. The economy keeps saying to universities, you'd be better off with a different kind of financial aid policy, with one which does not meet full demonstrated need, with one which allows people to come here if they can pay. Georgetown has rightly resisted these pressures. I have been engaged with Georgetown for the last 35 years. It never lost for me the sense that I owe it more than it ever owed me. The more players there are on the team, the better off you'll be. Uh, this is not a, a game where 10 people uh, 
you know, like a basketball team or 40 like a football team can do all the work by themselves. The university has always had great alumni support, uh, but it needs to become even broader and deeper. All alumni understand that they, they had this tremendous opportunity to attend Georgetown and that there's a real obligation to give back to the degree that you can to enable that, that experience to happen for other students. Who wouldn't want to invest in that? Who wouldn't want to see that as valuable? Well, you can put bricks and mortar up and you have your name on it, and that's a wonderful thing as well. But now you've transformed a life, not just a space. You didn't just write a check. Yeah, I'm here. My life would have been completely different had it not been for the generosity of all the donors. It's a great privilege, great privilege. For me, it was like, I don't have the money, I have the grades, so now I just have to work really, really, really hard to get there. Um, and I appreciate my donors for trusting me that I will succeed. Um, and I believe that I am succeeding. Excellence does not know color, ethnicity, or socioeconomic class. Higher education has been the means by which anyone in our country could place themselves on a trajectory where they could achieve their promise and their potential to the fullest degree possible. And that's what scholarships are all about. I came to Georgetown as a freshman in 1975. And during the course of my undergraduate years, I received need-based aid. I've been at Georgetown since 1987. Absolutely, I'm truly a Hoya. Hoya forever. Go Hoya! Hoya for life. I have my blue Hoya wig. I bleed blue. And gray. Hoya Saxa. I'm gonna love being here forever. We are all definitely Hoyas. Oh, I'm a Hoya. I'm a Hoya. I'm a Hoya. I will be a Hoya for life. I'm a Hoya. 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 I will always be a Hoya.